All right, so after the super extended maintenance on Global finally ended earlier today, we got this huge data download that I believe was close to 500 megabytes, if I remember correctly, which would make it one of the largest data downloads in recent memory. And I guess to nobody's surprise, there were a ton of new assets that were added to the game through this data download. So in today's video, I'm gonna try my best to break down all of this new stuff for you guys. But honestly, most of it is related to things that we already saw coming, right? Like the LR Nappa and Vegeta, the Int Future Trunks Extreme Z Battle, Extreme Z Awakening, uh, a bunch of five year anniversary stuff, and so on and so forth. But there are some other things in there that are a lot more interesting that I personally didn't see coming for quite some time and the existence of these assets in the global database this early could spell some pretty interesting things for global's future all right so like i said we're going to talk about all that stuff in this video but oh my bad i knocked the mic you good we're good okay so before we jump into it i want to give a big shout out to proton 10 mg on twitter for posting all the assets we're about to talk about. I'll put a link to his Twitter page in my description down below. Make sure to hit him up with a follow after you watch this video, okay? So with all that said, let's uh, jump into it. Let's get it started. And I think what we're gonna do is pop all the way down to the bottom here and work our way up. And as I'm scrolling, you can see there is a lot of stuff to get through, man. This was a huge data download. Okay, so first things first, to nobody's surprise, we have the assets for the LR Nappa and Vegeta. And I do have a summoning video already live on the channel for this banner. Um, I'm not going to say too much about what happened, but if you guys want to see how that went, then make sure to go check it out. I'll put a link somewhere above my head over here. So uh, have fun with that. Okay, so LR Nappa and Vegeta, we have the Nappa here, we have the Vegeta. We have the Nappa and Vegeta. And next up, we have the upcoming Extreme Z Battle slash Extreme Z Awakening for Global, which is for the Int Future Super Saiyan Trunks. There he is. And also his Extreme Z Battle or Extreme Z Awakening medals. So, you know, no surprises there. I believe this is dropping in about three days from now on June 25th. So we have that to look forward to. Another 30-ish free stones for you guys to save up for the upcoming LR Blue Vegito and Gogeta banners, right? And uh, next up, we have finally a new world tournament on Global. So the reward this time is gonna be this Tech Mecha Frieza. And uh, I believe that this is starting on July 2nd. So the very beginning of July. And that would pretty much mean that it's part of the countdown campaign for the five year anniversary since the actual anniversary starts. Um, I believe a couple days after that. So, you know, World Tournament finally on Global again. Uh, the last one we had was in March. All right. So I've said this a lot already. I don't know what's happening. I don't know why it took so long, but I'm at a point now where I'm actually excited for a World Tournament, which is not something that I say very often because I hate this mode. All right. Like, I think it's one of the worst modes in Dokkan, but it's been so long that I'm actually like excited to grind once again. So expect a lot of streams for that, a lot of uh, content. I mean, mostly just streams, maybe like an eight hour, 10 hour stream. We'll see, no promises, but I'm, I'm ready. So we have the world tournament. There it is starting in the beginning of July. And uh, we also have a couple of awakenings here. So this is for the STR uh, High School Super Saiyan Gohan. And this Jackie Chun, I think, is new. And uh, we also, pretty exciting stuff, have the assets for the uh, LR Demon King Piccolo, which is the next World Tournament LR. So this is his SSR, no, actually no, this is the SSR art. And there is the TUR art. And then of course, finally, we have the uh, LR art and then the transformed art as well over here. And up next, we have a couple of new sticker masks for the upcoming sticker feature so this one is for the agl golden frieza we have the super saiyan blue kaoken goku uh we have this is the int golden frieza i think i think it's the int one and uh finally we have is that bardock looks like bardock 
I think that's Bardock. Okay, well, to be fair, I didn't pull the Bardock, so I might have a little bit of a hard time recognizing his art. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we got a couple of sticker masks. And next up, we have some wallpapers related to the five-year anniversary. So we have one with the upcoming free-to-play LR Goku Black. We have a Broly, uh, Vegeta, and Goku one. We have one with Mai and Bulma. And one with uh, Frieza and Berry Blue, I think it's called. I forgot. It's been a, it's been a minute since I watched the movie, but I think I think she's called Berry Blue. Anyways, uh, we also have some more stuff here. Vegito and Zamasu. We have Gogeta and Broly. We have Broly, Chilai, and Lemo, and also uh, Trunks with uh, you know Bulma, the kids, and also Mai. And the countdown screens here, right? So every single year before the anniversary, we have a new countdown screen leading up to the actual anniversary, like seven days in advance, right? So we have four days a year, we have five days, six days, seven days, and here we go. One day, uh, two days left, and three days left. So expect to see these as we get closer to the five-year anniversary. And just just seeing these screens, I can already feel the hype building up inside me, man. I mean, when I saw that new logo, that new icon for the app with the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, I was like, yo, this is real, like it's happening now. And then seeing these screens, seeing the wallpapers, it's 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 all becoming just like, like I just in my mind, it's finally becoming a thing, right? Like before the five year anniversary was just this concept. It was like, yo, it's coming, but like it, it's so far away, it doesn't really matter. And now we're literally right there. Like less than two weeks to go, guys. Less than two weeks to go. It's crazy. Okay, so we have two wallpapers here. Like the actual wallpapers you can set on your home screen. Uh, we have the one with Gogeta versus Broly, which in my opinion is the best one we have in the game. And uh, we also have the Zamasu and Vegito, which is nice too, but I honestly think the Broly and Gogeta one is is better. But I mean, they're, they're both amazing. Like you can't really go wrong with either one. They're just... I prefer the Broly one, or the Gogeta one, Broly and Gogeta. Next up, we have some assets for the upcoming Int LR Rosé, which is for part two, actually, of the five-year anniversary. So I guess they're adding these early. Um, and also the Broly, Chi Lai, and Lemo LR, which is coming with the Int Rosé as well. It's going to be a double LR banner, or a, what they call it, a top legendary summon banner. Okay, next up, we have some assets for upcoming story events. So this one's for the Three Saiyans Led by Fate story event with the Kid Vegeta, Kid Raditz, and Kid uh, Broly. So there you go. And also the Extreme Z Awakening medals for these units. So basically what happens is uh, initially we can get these, uh, we can get the units, right? We can farm these guys. And then a little bit later, they get their Extreme Z Awakenings through an Extreme Z area. So here are the Extreme Z Awakening medals for the Broly. And then the Extreme Z Awakening medals for the Kid, Vegeta, and uh, Raditz, right there. Next up, we have a couple of assets here related to the free-to-play LR Goku Black, along with his Extreme Z Awakening medal. And he is the first LR in the entire game to get an Extreme Z Awakening, which is pretty freaking awesome. And I'm really hoping that at some point this, you know, leads to a trend of other free-to-play LR, some of the older ones in the game, to get their own EZAs as well, right? Like the Tech Super Saiyan Goku, the STR First Form Frieza, LR Androids, and so on and so forth. I love that. But speaking of other LRs getting EZAs, we also have the uh, EZA medal for the LR Kid Gohan from Super Battle Road, who was so, so bad. He was awful before the EZA, but this Extreme Z Awakening actually makes him really, really good. So I'm super excited for that. There's his medal, and uh, this last medal here is for the Zamasu to Doken Awaken into LR Goku Black. So there you go. And scrolling up a bit, we have a couple of assets here that look like they're from story events, I believe. I'm not exactly sure which one, but we have a Bulma getting slapped, an angry Bulma, a angry King Kai, as well as an angry Roshi. And this little Zeno here is, is happy, but I mean, he's always happy, so no surprises there. And finally, we have this super creepy, like, Zamasu faces background. Not really sure, once again, what it's from, but it's quite disturbing, man. 
Like, looking at this makes me physically uncomfortable. So, <laughs> I'm gonna leave it on the screen for a second for you guys to enjoy. And, yeah, there we go. All right, moving on. We have, okay, so this one is what I was talking about before, like the big surprise that I personally didn't see coming. I don't think a lot of people saw coming, at least this early. I think most people thought that we would get this like in a couple months, at least after the five year anniversary. And if you don't recognize it, it's for the new explosive chain battle event that JP recently got. And the way it works is that you're taking a team of your own units as well as a team of friend supporter units and uh, you're trying to do as much damage as possible against the enemy and the higher your damage output the higher you score and the higher you score the better you rank and the better you rank among other dokkan players the better your rewards are at the i guess end of the season or something like that so yeah that's basically how the event works i'll go into more detail obviously once it drops but uh, it looks like we might be getting this event a lot earlier than people expected uh, possibly as early as sometime during the five year anniversary, which would be amazing. I would love that, but I'm not really sure right now because obviously Dokkan has been known or Bandai has been known to just put assets in the database a lot earlier than uh, when they're releasing like many months in advance. So it could still be like a couple months before we actually see this event. But the fact that we're getting these screens, getting these assets, and also getting them translated into English, which is important, all right? Like, usually when we see these assets that are super early, they're not translated, right? They're still in Japanese, and they're just putting them there to, you know, use them at some point, right? But these ones are translated, and if you look at, you know, these, like, EZA medals for the Goku Black and the Kid Gohan and these Kid Saiyans here, like, they're still untranslated. And we're getting them like decently soon, right? So the fact that these ones are here and in English leads me to believe that we are going to be getting the explosive chain battle event sooner than later, probably during the five year anniversary. Don't hold me to it. I could be wrong, but it seems quite likely that this is coming soon, um, in my opinion. So the first enemy we would be facing is this Broly and uh, it does change periodically. And like I said, once we get this event, if it's during the five year anniversary, I will make some kind of a guide or just come up some kind of a overview video to help everybody, you know, score as high as possible, but uh, we'll worry about that later. Either way, it looks like Explosive Chain Battle is coming to global very, very soon, which is crazy to me, man. Like it really does seem like Bandai is making a concerted effort to catch up global to JP. I don't know if there's ever going to be like complete parity, like if, if it's ever going to be one to one releases where like all the new units will come out on global and JP at the same time. But um, it does seem like they're trying to close the gap ever so slowly. So we'll see what happens. Okay, next up we have a few other, th I believe these are related to the chain battle, I think. And of course, this is the new blue dragon stone and also a new red dragon stone, which we should be getting for free uh, when the anniversary starts. And uh, also, of course, the Extreme Z uh, ticket for most likely the Int Future Trunks and uh, a few other things here that are related to the chain battle event. So yeah, like I said, man, we got so many things here for chain battle. We have all these assets also translated that it seems very unlikely that they're just throwing these in here to just you know, collect dust for many months. Like, I do think it's gonna be sooner than later that we see Chain Battle on Global. And uh, that pretty much does it, guys. So here is a full overview that he posted, like the full image of, I guess, everything that was found. And I don't think we missed anything. I think everything that I talked about earlier is represented here. We got some wallpapers, some assets for the units, World Tournament units, uh, Extreme Sea Awakening medals, uh, Chain Battle assets, um, you know, countdown screens, wallpapers, so on and so forth. So there you go, guys. That's everything, all the assets that were added to Global through this massive, massive 490 something megabyte, almost 500 megabyte data download earlier today. And uh, a couple things we can say for sure is that we are getting a world tournament in about a week, week and a half. 
And uh, of course, we're getting the Interrose, the Fizz, Broly, Chia, and Lemo for part two. Um, LR Gogeta, LR Vegito for part one should be, uh, I believe, dropping on July 5th, set 6th, 7th, something like that. I think I saw somewhere there was actually July 5th, but I'm, I, I can't confirm right now. So first week of July for sure. First week of July for sure. And um, that's it, guys. Yeah, five year anniversary right around the corner. Get excited, get hyped. Uh, stay strong with your saving. Don't be dumb like me and spend a ton of your stones, ton of your savings on the Vegeta and Nappa banner. Uh, I did it, so you guys don't have to. So once again, reminder, go watch that video once you're done watching this one. It might make you feel better about your life in general. All right, so that's it. <laughs> that is the video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Shout out to Proton10MG for posting everything once again. You'll find a link to his page in my description down below. And um, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.